Hey there, have a seat. What can I get you? I'm serving up Thursday's Untamed Special, where I will cover one of my favorite variations, supplemental lifts, accessory work, assistance movement, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to explain how to do it, why we do it, some common errors, and even a suggestion about how to incorporate it into your current routine. Today's special. The rack pull or the block pull is fairly straightforward and doesn't need too much explanation. Given you know how to deadlift from the floor, nothing really changes. There is no difference between rack pulls and block pulls. Block pulls are just preferred over rack pulls to prevent damaging a good barbell. We have a couple bent bars and untamed strength used for rack pulls only. A block pull can be done anywhere from mid shin to just below the kneecap. Above the knee can turn into an ego lift and the lifter usually ends up hitching the weight by just shoving the knees forward and ramping the bar up their thighs. Elevating the weight higher off the floor usually allows you to deadlift a bit more weight than you can from the floor because the range of motion is decreased. For this reason, it's considered an overload movement. Powerlifters can start implementing this movement into their routine as they approach their meet to drive up intensity. This movement can also be used for someone who recently had a back injury and is unable to pull off the floor without experiencing pain. You might find a height that allows you to pull pain free. Start there and work your way down over time. If not while your back heals, at least while your mind heals and you build some confidence. The rack pull or block pull can also be used if you or your client is very obese and unable to reach the barbell on the floor without rounding their back or rolling the bar out in front of their toes. This is only in extreme cases though. I've worked with fairly obese clients who could in fact deadlift from the floor with proper coaching. So don't think you need to rack pull just because you're a little overweight. Before you do rack pulls, I would suggest learning how to deadlift correctly. I still focus on the five step deadlift setup while performing these. And two of the most important cues, in my opinion, are number one, the barbell has to be over midfoot, one inch away from your shins when you are standing up tall. Make sure you do not move the barbell during any of the subsequent steps. And number two, your shoulders need to be slightly in front of the barbell right before you pull. The most common error that you have to avoid is the urge to drop your butt lower than it should be, pull your shoulders behind the barbell, and shove your knees forward. Most people will try to make their torso more vertical and squat the weight up. And because the weight is elevated, it makes this even easier to do, which is why it's the most common error that I see. Think about keeping your shoulders over the bar for longer than you're used to and drive your feet into the floor. Leg press the floor away from you. Fight to maintain your back angle and extend your knees while dragging the barbell up your body. As mentioned in the last video about common squat errors, make sure your feet are glued to the ground. Rocking on your heels or toes is a telltale sign that your balance is not over midfoot. If your hips are in the correct position and your shoulders are just in front of the bar, the barbell will travel up in a straight line rather than out and around your knees. In my last video about the pause squat, I listed a sample routine. For your four day split, you could add the rack pull or block pull on Tuesday as your deadlift variation. This is actually my current routine. For the three day split, you could add rack pulls on Monday as your deadlift variation. Please realize that these programming suggestions are general and not at all customized to you or any individual. That's all I've got. You can check out my video about how I made these deadlift blocks by following the I card at the top right corner of this video. Thanks for watching and always remember.
Tread on time. Uh.